All right, what's up, everybody? This is Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So today we're going to be looking at this lovely traditional home right here. This one is 1,768 square feet. It features a two-story, right? Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, two-car garage. The starting price on this is $315,990. Take a look at this, huh? 1700 square feet home let's see what they got here so i do love the um the panels on the garage however you can do a six foot or a eight foot on the garage so if you have a truck keep in mind you may want to consider to do an upgrade an eight foot on your garage some builders will give you that option that would be a consider a construction option all right so we have a Eight-foot door here. Now, as we come into the hallway here, I do love the nice open floor plan. Now, this is only 1,700 square feet, so keep keep your mind open here, okay? So now we're gonna start back over here. If we take a look at the tile, we have diamond cut on the tile, porcelain tile in here. Uh, porcelain tile diamond cuts that's going to run you a little bit more just to lay it out this is the uh, two car garage here if you notice all the hinges uh, are painted okay and the reason why they do that is because they're building this home fast as hell right instead of just taping it up let's just go ahead and blast through it because they're just putting the home together Now, you do have an option if you want those hinges exposed because you're upgrading your fixtures. I would highly recommend that you do that because it's just those fine details that customizes a home. So we have nine foot ceilings on here. I believe the nine foot are an upgrade. Okay. You know what? Let's, uh, we'll start off with the kitchen here. So this granite right here, I believe this is the standard granite does, that does come with it. This is only a half inch straight edge on the um, granite. You can do an inch and a half, but it will cost you. That would be an upgrade. So these cabinets right here, I think we, it's more of an espresso color. You got the undermounted sink. It is a deep sink. It looks like you have a standard uh, faucet right here. Uh, to the right, we have a stove, right? Uh, you do have the package appliances where you can actually do an upgrade just depending on which level that you pick and choose from 42 upper cabinets with a one inch crown Okay, let's see if this exhaust goes to the outside Okay, so this exhaust is piped through the outside. So that's one thing that you want to take a look at Okay, let's take a look at the level of the cabinets here So we got some standard cabinet side glide staples, okay? You got your refrigerator. Off to the right, we have our pantry. Let's take a look at the uh, pantry here. Pantry's not not that big, but it's good enough. Remember, it's only about a 1,700 uh, square foot home here. So we're gonna come off to the right. Okay, so we have a half bath all the way to the right here. Let me see here. Here we go. Let me show you the half bath. So we have the half bath. Okay. Not bad. So we have some linen. A lot of storage space. Coat closet over here. Coat closet, coat closet is away from the garage door completely opposite we have an eight foot aluminum slide I mean not aluminum but vinyl slide <clears throat> required by code on the blocks I believe it's a six feet on the perimeter this kind of gives you a general idea how big this lot is the bigger the lot you're definitely going to be paying a premium hoas again on this one is 85 dollars a month <coughs> you have uh special improvement districts balance on this is uh 3500 
Uh, lot premiums will start you off around 5k. So this one has one condenser. I'm not going to walk back there right now. Coming back into the property. Let's take a look at this. For some apparent reason, I just got an instant headache. You ever get that where it just like starts pounding? Let's take a look at this here. I mean, it's a pretty decent size. Okay. Now, let's get a different angle from right here. Let me know what you guys think here. All right, let's see here. All right, let's go upstairs. Ooh, these stairs. Ooh, talking about a workout. Ah. So as we come up, we have a nice little loft, master there. Two bedrooms here. We'll start off on this side. Eight foot ceilings. You're gonna have eight foot ceilings throughout this whole neighborhood. Now, some of these windows will be in different locations based upon the type of elevation that you pick. Because all elevations are different, you may minus out on some windows and you may be able to add some windows too as well. well that's pretty crafty. This room is a standard room, looks probably 10 by 12 on here. Can I give you the closet size? Tub shower combo. You got the four piece. Now, let me know in the comments, if you bought something like this, would you just do the shower rod or the sliding glass door with the towel rack? I think I would do the sliding glass door. It just looks more cleaner versus having a shower rack. Nice little loft area. I like that little floating shelf there, kind of gives some contrast. Here's your laundry room. It does have a pan which is really nice. Gas. Dryer. You got the French doors. That's definitely a upgrade here. This is a king size bed. Um, this bedroom is very narrow I mean that's what I'm getting for it from it coming into the master bath okay decent sized closet well they get the light switch right here for the toilet that's just uh, crazy now I mean overall I mean this home is cool, but you know, each home is made for somebody that's looking for that home. Not all the homes fit everybody. Now, I can just give you my own opinion based upon what I don't like about this home. Number one, okay, I would see if we can upgrade to make this a water closet, okay? The other downfall for me is the bedroom is too narrow. If I drop the size of my bed, that would be just fine. 
as far as the configuration and the layout upstairs is completely okay. One of the down things that I've seen with this model so far is the bathroom down that hallway off to the side. It seems like it wasn't um, well thought out as far as a floor plan where the bathroom is all the way on that side and also the two closets are on that side. But however, these are my opinions and my opinions don't matter, okay? Because, you know, my home may not be your home. Your home may not be my home. But let me know in the comments below what you liked about this property, what you didn't like about this property. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Crusoe with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.